So it's about 5.45 a.m. I just got to the hospital. We have three surgeries today. One is a cervical arthroplasty, which is a disc replacement in the neck. The second one and third one are decompressions of the spine called microdiscectomies, where a patient has a disc herniation will go in and remove the herniated disc that is pressing on the nerve, causing some leg and back pain. I usually meet with the patient in the morning time. I'll check their labs, look at their images, and make sure that the operating room is set up with the appropriate instruments and everything that we'll need to actually do the surgery. So it should be a good day today. So it's about 2.15 p.m. We just finished our cases for the day. We had three cases. The first case was a cervical arthroplasty. Basically, a patient who has arm pain and arthritis in their neck, we can go in and put an artificial disc. It's called cervical arthroplasty. We make an incision on the front portion of the neck here. We go down, move the important structures out of the way, go down to the spine, remove the previous disc that was there that's diseased, and place an artificial disc which is made out of metal and plastic. The other two cases were microdiscectomies, which basically means patients essentially have a disc herniation, which when a disc herniates, it can compress the nerve and cause pain down the leg or in the back. So we go in, we remove that disc that's pressing on the nerve, remove some bone that may be pressed on the nerve as well to try to make more space for the nerve. Usually that helps patients who have leg and back pain. So after surgery, I usually put some orders in for, for patients as well as their medications. I document what we did in surgery. I go check on the patient in the recovery room to make sure they're doing okay and that they're moving their foot and their leg and we didn't cause any damage in surgery. And then I usually grab a quick bite to eat between cases because some of the cases take a little bit longer than others. The cases this morning were only one to two hours, but some cases may be six or eight hours. You may be in surgery for that long. So usually I grab something to eat because you never know how long a particular case may take. So we have a meeting with a sales rep who has an implant that we're gonna be using in a couple days in surgery. We meet with this representative to go over the implants, an implant that we don't use a lot. It's a metal device that we put into the spine between the bones to kind of stabilize the area to keep that area open and free so it's not compressing on the nerve. So sometimes we meet with the sales rep to go over the implant and see how it works, what we need to pay attention to in surgery. And in a couple days from now, we'll be putting this implant into someone's back. So it's important that we know how it works and how to use it. The sales reps are usually in the operating room with us during surgery, so that always helps as well. And later this evening, I'm heading to San Antonio for a couple meetings. I'll be there for like a day or so, and then coming back to Dallas and then back to work. So. We'll see you soon. So these are unlocked. Uh, so the rod, so this is, they're both locked. Uh, First time flying today with little Austin. We're heading to San Antonio. I have some meetings and interviews there. We'll be there for three days. We're at the airport here in Dallas, and uh, yeah, looking forward to it. See you guys in San Antonio. Just made it to San Antonio, about to grab a rental car, and then I have a meeting about to head to that, so there we go. Hey 
here, about to get the rental car, then head into the hotel. Alright, so we just got into town. I am here at the hotel. Even though I'm away from home, I still try to get a workout in. Quick 10, 15 minutes. That's better than nothing. Today I have a few meetings uh, with a few important people. I won't talk about the specifics of that meeting until after everything is done. So, see you soon. So I just got here to my meeting. I'm about to walk in in a couple minutes. And then after the meeting, I'm going to check on my properties here in San Antonio. Just go drive by um, and make sure there's nothing kind of major going on with the properties that needs to be addressed. I do have a property manager that manages all my properties, but uh, I like to, at least when I'm in town, just drive by and check on them. And then after that, I'm heading to the airport, I back to Dallas and then back to work tomorrow. We'll see you soon. Made it back to Dallas safely. About to head home, get ready for uh, work tomorrow. See you guys on the next one. Made it back home to Dallas. Had a good time in San Antonio. Real quick trip. So we came into the mall today, just do a little uh, shopping around. I got some shirts. It's rare that I actually buy clothes, so i kind of surprised by myself today. Actually spending money. Not like me. In the dressing room, you gotta adapt and overcome. He needs his <laughs> diaper change. We change it right in the dressing room. Just now leaving the mall, Galleria of Dallas. About to grab something to eat. Chill out for the rest of the evening. All right, so it is about 8.15 a.m. Saturday morning. I am about to go to the hospital and round on some patients. I have two hospitals to round at. Last night was a uh, late one. I actually didn't get home till around 1 a.m. or so. We had a patient that we needed to take to surgery that had compression of the spinal cord that was causing some symptoms and loss of bowel and bladder function which is a surgical urgency for us as spine surgeons so we're up pretty late operating last night and um, got a little late start this morning because when I'm on call over the weekends I have to round and see patients that are in the hospital and I have two hospitals around it this morning it was luckily I didn't have three because there was another fellow who is rounding at another hospital um, and luckily he's rounding this weekend. Otherwise I, it would have been three hospitals I had to go visit. But on the weekends, I can kind of make my own schedule. I don't have to round and see patients at a certain time. Like I just woke up, I slept in a little bit and then I'm going to go do some work at the hospital. And rounding essentially means I go in, see how they're doing, check their surgical wounds, check their labs, check their x-rays, and just make sure they're doing well. Give them physical therapy, order medications, or order certain tests if needed. You know, I'm their physician, 
So I just basically manage them while they're in the hospital. And I have assistance from and help from other doctors. There's internal medicine doctors that see the patients as well. So they kind of manage the heart issues or lung issues. And I focus mostly on the surgical things that are going on. I have about eight patients to see this morning. Uh, that will probably take me to see them, to check their wounds, to make sure they're doing fine, to write their notes which means anytime I see a patient in the hospital, I have to just document it in the computer, how they're doing, their exam, which means are they moving their arms or moving their legs? Are they breathing on their own? How's their belly? It's called a physical exam. And then, yeah, so about eight patients, document their notes, write some orders, order some medications if needed, discharge some patients, which means I'll give the nurses an order to send the patients home if they're doing well, if they're stable. The rest of the weekend, I'm on call, which means I receive phone calls from the different hospitals around here in the city. If there's a patient that has a spine issue, they will call me to go see that patient, and then I'll decide whether that patient needs to go to surgery or just see them in clinic in like a week or so. Mostly just phone calls from the practice. So there are about 19, 20 surgeons in this practice and any of their patients that they operated on or any patients that are at home and have questions about a particular surgery, I just basically filled those questions and the operator will call me, hey, Dr. Webb, we have a phone call from this patient here. He has a question about his medication. And then I just have to basically talk to the patient or go into the ER if the ER is calling me. So uh, it can be a very busy weekend but it also can be a very not as busy weekend. So it just depends and it's really completely random. Last night we had that case to do. I can get a call right now and then go have to do a four or five hour surgery. So usually on the weekends, I try to stay around the area and so that I don't have to travel too far if I get called. So I'll check with you guys soon. to the hospital about to go round on my patients. All right, so I just got done rounding. It took me about two hours to see all my patients and write some notes and I'll order some medications and new orders that I need to put into the computer. And just finished, it's about 9.45 a.m. About to head home and get some other work done and hang out for the day. Usually I try to stick around the area just in case I get called in. So I don't try to go too far just in case there's a case that needs to be done or a patient that needs to be seen. So yeah, today is just uh, fielding phone calls and other consults from the uh, house. And that's uh, how the day is going to go today. See you soon. All right. So I just got home from work. Today was uh, not a bad day. I didn't get too many calls, just a few phone calls from a few patients and a call from the ER about a patient that I had to go see. But uh, yeah, it's about 6 p.m. I'm about to get ready for work tomorrow and for the rest of the week. But uh, thank you guys for following along this week. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you subscribe. New videos coming every week. We'll see you next time.